Friends, here we are talking about Ansible inventory file types. See, we know that Ansible reads the manage nodes info from the inventory file while executing Ansible ad hoc commands or Ansible playbooks. And here we have two types of inventory files. They are static inventory file and dynamic inventory file. See, static inventory file is the inventory file where we update the manage nodes info manually. So manage nodes info means either IPs or FQDNs. So as of now, whatever the inventory files we created, all those are static inventory files because always manually we are updating IPs in inventory file. Then what about dynamic inventory file? See, dynamic inventory file is the inventory file where we fetch the managed nodes of your infrastructure with some logic or code. That means we don't update managed nodes info manually. Instead of that, dynamically we will fetch the our managed nodes with some logic, with some code. But why we need dynamic inventory? See, nowadays, we are provisioning the required servers for project from cloud. Cloud could be any cloud. And we are also enabling auto scaling. We know that if we enable auto scaling, then based on the load, the server count may be increase or decrease. So in that case, it is very difficult to maintain servers info in static inventory file. That's the reason we need dynamic inventory file. So if you use dynamic inventory file, then dynamic inventory file automatically fetch the present managed nodes or servers of your project dynamically. So that you no need to worry how to manage them. And here we have two ways to handle the cloud servers as managed nodes in Ansible inventory. Means basically there are two ways to create dynamic inventory file. They are using scripts called inventory scripts and using plugins called inventory plugins. See, creating dynamic inventory using scripts is old way. Now the recommended way is using inventory plugins. Based on your cloud, you have to choose the plugin. But be clear, as of now, we are using Ansible core. That's why we may or may not have the plugin for our cloud. So in that case, what we have to do is we have to install our required plugin on our Ansible core from Ansible community. So that's why as of now, I'm not going to discuss about dynamic inventory file. We'll discuss about dynamic inventory once we are working with Ansible community collections or modules or plugins. Until that, you have to wait. Okay, thank you.